What is the state of the cybersecurity market in Australia? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the state of cybersecurity as an industry in Australia based off a question that I had from someone who watches these videos on LinkedIn. The question sent through to me was uh, just wondering what the state of Australian cybersecurity market is. Me and my partner are planning on moving to Melbourne in the next few months and I'm wondering how busy it is and what I'm going to be walking into. I decided to make this one into a video instead of typing out a huge long wall of text answer to this guy. So this is my video just for you. The too long didn't read version of the, uh, the explanation that I'm going to give is that the market is pretty good in Australia, depending on what kind of role you want to get into. There are four major growth cities in Australia for cybersecurity. I'll start at the lowest and then work my way up to the highest. The first one is Perth, and there has been actually a, a bit of a boom recently in cybersecurity in Perth, which has been great. This is mostly in defensive security, not so much in offensive security like pen testing, for example. However, there are still roles in pen testing available. Next up, we have Brisbane. And Brisbane is kind of on par with the next one up, but not quite as fast as far as growth markets are concerned. Where I've seen the most growth in Brisbane is again in defensive security, but there has been a huge surge recently in offensive security roles and specifically GRC roles. I feel like a lot of companies are moving their offices to Queensland based on that the rent is cheaper, and uh, it's just a, a nicer environment maybe overall. That might be biased though because obviously I'm from Brisbane. So yeah, take that into consideration. Next up, we have Melbourne and then Sydney. Now, Melbourne is a, a big market. There's lots of people, there's lots of jobs, and the market has been growing really well over the last few years, which is great to see. The same applies for Sydney. Sydney is a, a huge place. There's lots and lots of people in Sydney. We all know that. It's a very busy place and uh, it is expensive to live in. But that doesn't have anything to do with the cybersecurity market specifically. It's more just a, a, a thing, a, something you might want to take into consideration when moving to Melbourne or Sydney is that they are expensive places. Now, as I was saying, it kind of depends on what roles you're wanting to get into. If you're trying to get into defensive security, there are plenty of roles throughout Australia, especially in Canberra, for these types of positions. As far as working remotely is concerned, it's about a 50-50 mix. Most of the offices uh, or businesses that have a cybersecurity presence or selling services or government agencies, they are requiring people to at least come in for a few days doing like a, a hybrid working environment type thing. Depending on what kind of role you want to get into, what kind of experience, certifications, you know, formal qualifications that you have is the dependent on how you're going to get into these different types of areas, cities, businesses, government agencies, etc. Keep in mind, if you're not a permanent resident or a citizen, then it is very hard to apply for jobs in government agencies and businesses that operate within a government space because you won't be able to get a clearance. If you're applying for jobs based off a working visa, you're pretty much limited to the private companies, which isn't a bad thing at all. I love working for private companies, especially over working for government. That's a personal preference, but definitely something you might want to take into consideration when applying for a job in Australia. What you're walking into to answer this part of the question is you're walking into a market that is saturated with people who have just finished university, who are also trying to get a job. And there are lots of cybersecurity students or you know graduates who are applying for jobs right now. What most companies are looking for is people who tick all the three boxes. Those three boxes are skill, experience, and qualification. Depending on what your skills, qualification, and experience are, are uh, what kind of job you would be able to get. It's kind of hard to say that all cybersecurity jobs are not entry level because some of them I would consider are. It really depends on what your prior experience is in IT in general and specifically in cybersecurity is before you're you know, actually applying for a job to see what kind of jobs you would be able to get. As part of a, a coaching package that I do for people, I do recommend uh, different avenues of work, um, different people to talk to like recruiters to, to talk directly with, uh, advice on your resume and uh, basically a, a push into the, the right direction of skills and experience qualifications 
to be able to apply for the job that you want to get. So if that's something you're interested in, I'm more than happy to help out. I'll put a link in the description to, to book that in if it's something that interests you. But don't feel obliged. It's just me talking about it as um, something that I, I do offer. I'd like to hear from the other Aussies who watch this channel though, what you think about the Australian cybersecurity market. Where do you see the most jobs coming up at the moment? Do you think it's on par with what I'm saying? And uh, this, this sort of research that I've, I'm talking about that are where I get all this information from is mostly from job advertisement websites and posts that I see on LinkedIn from recruiters on different jobs around Australia and where most of them are popping up. I hope this video has been very helpful to you and uh, yeah, I hope to, to see you when you're in Australia sometime. I'll see you there, man. Thanks for watching and catch you later.